Ever wondered how to transform a simple interview into a visually engaging scene? Let me show you how a simple foreground elements and thoughtful movement can not only add depth, but significantly enhance the production value and captivate your audience. I recently had to film an interview inside of a gym, so we look for ways to use this large space creatively. From a lighting perspective, nothing was very complicated. The gym had windows at the top going all the way around, but they used shutters on the sunny side, so we had no harsh direct sunlight shining in. You can see the reflection on the floor from the windows, but we were able to keep all the windows and all the reflections out of our frame. Of course, the gym was full of those very bright lights flooding the space, but we were able to turn half of them off, so we set up on the darker side to make sure we didn't have any lights on directly over our subject. It also gave us a little contrast on the bleachers and on the floor instead of it being all the same level. We now have a nice gradient and different pockets of lights and shadows on the floor and in the bleachers, giving our shot some texture. We wanted to frame the bleachers and the basket in the background, so we quickly knew where we would be setting up. We did have two glass doors to deal with. One we decided to leave in the shot because it gave us some nice reflections on the floor, breaking some of the flatness. The other one is in the front of our subject on the fill side. So we had to find a solution. Well, we only had a 72 inch neg, so all we could do was to place it on the stand and move it as close as we can to our subject where it could cover him and protect him from getting flooded by the daylight. We bounced our key lights off of our large umbrella to soften the light and wrap it around his face. You can see on the false color and the EL zone system how much the light wraps around him in a soft gradient and a good contrast ratio. We also set up a small backlight. We're using the FX6 on the tripod and the FX3 on an automated track. This is the Eldercrone motion system with the Pro Head, and it was also our first time using their vertical module, allowing us to use the track at an incline. Now, I'm not endorsed by Eldercrone, this is just what I happen to use. We placed a basketball rack in the background to fill some of the space behind our subject's shoulder and we used another basketball rack as a foreground element for the camera on the track. With the track at an incline, we created a movement where our foreground goes in and out of frame. That way we could use it as a reveal to kind of surprise our viewers. It's not much, but it's something that can really help with viewers' engagement. I framed part of the rack at the end of the movement to give viewers a reference on how those balls were there. They see the rack in the background, now they see part of the rack in the foreground and viewers know exactly what this is. Now I could have made the move more dramatic, like lower and maybe wider, but we also didn't want this to be a distraction. It's enough to add something different than just a sit down interview. In the background, we added a light focused on the basketball. Now our white balance for the room is set to 40K, but we turned the color temperature of this light to 27K to give it a nice warm feel. We also shined a focus light onto the hoop in the back. That one is set to 50K to get a cooler feel. It's all those little details that makes our scene more interesting to the viewers. Hopefully this setup can inspire you to try something new on your next shoot. I would encourage you to explore ways to add foreground elements and movement to keep viewers engaged. Thank you for watching this video until the end. As a token of my appreciation, I'd like to offer you my free camera setting cheat sheet. Just follow the link below to download your free cheat sheet. Thanks again and happy filming.